Are you only watching shorts? What are these? Are you only watching reels to learn English? <laughs> Bad news! You will never master English this way. Oh! I said it. Wait, 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 wait. Let me explain myself. Yes, they are useful, but not only if you rely on them. And let me explain that to you. Hi, my name is Marwa, aka Miss English Teacher. I'm a content creator and an Instagrammer. And welcome to the Eva channel. Here you will find everything you need to learn English. In today's video, I'm explaining to you why learning cannot always be fun. Do you want me to learn new English? You need to understand that nowadays, these platform users give you only three seconds to catch their attention. So you need a very strong hook. There's words in English that sound the same, but have completely different meanings. Bitch or bitch, bitch or bitch, bitch or bitch. The video needs to be very short, and unfortunately, this is not enough time for us to give you real valuable English information and lessons and tips. God is our witness. We try to keep it short and sweet for you. But unfortunately, we cannot include the whole background and information and exception and everything and still keep that short. So that's why you are getting bits of information that are true, but may not always be true. That's why I believe that watching reels and shorts is very, very useful, especially to review the language, but not as your main source of learning. So for example, I am learning Spanish language, so I'm using the Eva app to learn. But I took a kind of like a short test and I know exactly at what level I am and I can have daily new input where I can learn new words that are appropriate for my level and also get to practice, listen, repeat, try to remember. And then after that, when I'm watching and scrolling on Instagram, I'm able to actually review these words that I already learned. So that's how I mix fun and useful together. Also on TikTok, there's no way for you to improve your listening skills, reading skills, and also you are always taking in information, but you're not testing how much you've learned. How the hell you think you're gonna do that on TikTok? I'm not saying that these videos are not useful. I'm just saying that they're not enough. We need more information. And I hate to break it to you, but learning isn't always fun. And all of those teachers that are telling you that learning should be fun always, it shouldn't be boring, well, I'm sorry, I hate to break it to you, but it's not true. Oh no. How are you going to improve your reading skills, especially if you're going to take an IELTS exam or any other proficiency exam? You have to read and answer questions. What about tons and tons of vocabulary? How are you going to cover it? Okay, let's say you're watching all the time different videos. How are you going to remember it? Exactly. You need to produce it. You need to test your memory. You need to see it once and a second time and a third time. And with random videos, it's not always the case. So what you need to do is see these new words, learn them in context, and then after that, learn them by heart and check if you actually have learned these videos every now and then. And after that, in a couple of months, it will actually be part of your active vocabulary. So usually you will need to see one word at least five times to actually be able to learn it and use it. And the most inaccurate piece of advice I've seen influencers give is create an environment for yourself and you will learn English in no time. It might have worked for them because they live in an English-speaking country or the target language country. 
But how are you going to do that? You're surrounded by people who speak your mother tongue. Your only access is social media. And then this is an environment where you cannot practice. So how is, how is that even possible? So long story short is the following. If you're trying to learn English, then add the fun to the useful. Yes, watch these fun YouTube videos, watch these fun reels. They are there to refresh your memory and so on. But also please dedicate at least half an hour a day for actual learning and old school learning. You know, with a book, with rules, grammar, where you actively learn and test yourself. That would be my advice to you. Thanks for watching today's video. In my next video, I am testing your speaking skills. Yes, I am challenging you and I want to see how much you actually learned from all these reels that you're watching. So go ahead, click here.